Howdy folks, this is Jared with Flutie Lake Homestead. Today we're going to be hewing out a log for this old barn we're working on. And uh, we're going to get started now, so um, appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to get busy here now and get what we can done. Okay, as you can see, here's the two rotten logs we took out. Very, very rotten. And I can pull this one just about apart. And the end is coming off of this one. So... Uh, to remedy this, we're going to hew us out two new poplar logs and put in their place. So I'm going to show you now how I'm going to hew them out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do when we're hewing this log out is I've got this poplar log sitting up here on two other logs. And I've got it where there's a bit of swag in it that it's up and down and not sideways. So now I'm going to stabilize this to these logs. That way I can work on it and it won't be rolling around. Now we're going to stabilize this now and i've got these hooks that i made out of rebar and i just kind of forged the end down to a point and uh, i'm going to drive them in just like this just about too small for this log but I think they'll hold it that ought to hold need to make me another set of these with an eye on it that way it's kind of more adjustable get my axe out now now we're going to square the ends of it up that's level And now I'm not going to hew out this top. I just want the sides. So I just want to make sure they ain't got to be perfectly level. I'm going to get them pretty close. Okay, that's pretty close. So now I'm going to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Then I'm going to run a chalk line down it. Just so I can stay kind of straight. Okay, we've got our chalk line strung out here. And I'm just going to put it on my 7 inch mark on both sides, round about, and I'm uh, going to flick it, and there I got me a nice red mark, and that should be fairly straight, so we'll do the same to the other, and that'll give me a little gauge of what to hew to, and uh, it ain't got to be plumb perfect. This is a just a rough hewn barn log, but I want it to be good, good as we can. There we go. And that'll be about seven inches. Mm -hmm. 
Now what we'll do is we're going to take this good sharp double bit X and I'm going to get up top and I'm going to hew marks, notches about every foot to the line there and get, keep them as straight as I can. Then we'll come back with the broad X and uh, hew them off nice and straight. Okay, here's the rough hewn log, and uh, that's just going over with the broad X. And I'm going to do the other side, and then I'm going to flip it over on the flat side down. And then I will take an edge if there's any thick spots, and I'll take my foot edge and I'll uh, smooth it up a little more. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and get this bark off the top and bottom too, because there ain't no reason for it to stay. So, <clears throat> pretty smooth. And uh, you can see those nice broad X marks. That'll make her look authentic like the rest of them, which, I mean, it, it was huge authentic. I ain't the best at it, but it'll, uh, it'll get the job done. Okay, I've turned it over now, and I just want to show you another thing you can do if you're not wanting to go all authentic. If you lay her sideways here, and you uh, chalk line, put your straight mark, chalk line on both sides, then you can take a chainsaw and come in here and cut about every eight or ten inches down to the line and then hew it off and that'll speed up the cutting process that way and then all you have to do is come and bust it off and hew it flat and that'll save you a little time okay we've got our logs in place if you can see here i got this little log in got it notched and i've got my second log here and i'm right now um getting me a few boards down here so I can raise it up because that's the heavy end this end I should be able to set up um, I got my jacks in place I've got this lifted up a little higher than what it goes and I may have to adjust this notch a little because you see I just kind of knocked the top of it off for now and uh, down here I've got this dovetail half dovetail made I got the top notched down and I'm thinking this end will fit this did not have much of a slope here. I actually had to take a chisel and cut just a hair off because I couldn't raise this side too much. And uh, that way I can get this in. And this may have to be adjusted a little, maybe not. And I've got this bar on the log here. I'm gonna lift this up a little higher and I'm gonna put this under it and then put these blocks under here a little at a time. That way I can get it lifted up and she'll be able to push it over in. Because when you're by yourself, you got to use stuff like this to help you. So we're going to raise this up with a bar. Oh, 
clip if I don't knock it plumb out. Okay. I got it raised up a few more inches. Now I'm going to try to get my bar a little higher. I have to put me a little piece of wood under it here. So I'm going to get me another piece of wood. When I slide this in place, um, I'll start my video again. Okay, I've got this end in place. Got that in and uh, knocked in. I had to uh, tighten my jack up a little bit, raise that corner just a hair more, and got it slid over in place. Now I'll let the jack off that end. And then uh, this is in place. And uh, I gotta adjust this right here so it'll set down in the notch just a little more. And then I'm gonna be putting a jack under this just to lift it up just a hair. And I'm pouring solid. I've got a concrete pier over here, a hole under that. And uh, there was a big rock in here I couldn't dig out. So I'm gonna dig around, pour out solid with concrete underneath it so it can't go anywhere. And uh, this still is lifted up off of this log. So that notch will tighten up when I let the pressure from the jack down. So, pretty good. It'll look a whole lot better than that old rotten log that was in there. And it'll last a lot longer. So, I'll take you down here and show you this notch. Fit in pretty good. It was kind of hard getting that in there by myself, but I got her. Move these out of our way. Here's the original, uh, like a seal log, some kind of oak, maybe chestnut. Got this log in place. Got her in there. Got the dovetail in. And uh, this up here, I couldn't lift it high enough, so I had to take a little bit of the notch off of here. So it wasn't as much of a taper. And then uh, lifted it up a little bit, got it where I could slide it in. Now that I let the pressure off the jack, it should be pretty tight. So, there's two new logs in here in this old barn. So that should last for many, many years to come. Get back here where you can see. A couple years, they'll age a little bit and uh, they'll blend in pretty good.